Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Maggie and today we're going to be talking about my project Use It Up. Um, I'm at my halfway point so I'm here to give you guys an update. How I like to structure my project Use It Ups is a quarterly project. So I pick a few products to you know work on throughout the first quarter and then I do a update about halfway through which is where we are here. So I've been about six weeks in-ish. I have about six more weeks to go for trying to finish up all the products in my project. I'm going to link down below some of my other favorite channels that do something similar to this if you're interested. There really aren't rules to it. It's just trying to finish stuff up. So for me, I am trying to focus on skincare, body care, hair care, basically anything but makeup in this project because I do have a project pan going that is only makeup centric. So I'm going to leave that link down below and up in the cards if you want to check that out. But I am um, really excited and pleased with the progress I've made so far. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. And we're going to start with the one that, um, you know, just comes straight to mind because I actually finished this up last night. This is my Pacifica Rose Kombucha Cleanser. So this is all done. Last night was the final night. I gave it a big fat squeeze at the end and, you know, it just sputtered. And it took me a few squeezes to really get enough to wash my face. So this is officially dead and done. Um, but I am happy with that. So I did finish this up. I started the project um, with what I estimated to be about this much left here. So, I mean, there was a decent amount. I've been using this cleanser for months and months and months and months and months. I opened it last summer sometimes. So it wasn't like completely full by any means. But I am happy that this is now done. Let's stay in the kind of the skincare world here. I've got a serum. This is the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. This is my daytime serum. I absolutely love it. Um, the vitamin C is mixed with hyaluronic acid, which is why I prefer this product and this formula of a vitamin C so much. I have oily skin, so a hyaluronic acid really helps um, keep moisture in my skin without feeling like too heavy. So I started um, this project with only about that much left and let's see here I have my cheat sheet here I used this up on February 9th so I finished this up pretty early in the month of February but I still got through um, all of January with it so I am pleased that this is done I'm already working on another one another kind of I guess serum type treatment is a retinol that I also finished up I know I've been killing it with my skincare products here um, this is the Drunk Elephant A Passioni uh, Retinol Cream. This is a little size that I've really like <laughs> manipulated down here. I'm not sure if I can really get it. There we go. So when I started this project, I was at this line here. Um, I use this like maybe twice a week. I don't use retinol every single night. Uh, so I'm rotating this and I'm not using it every you know, every night, like I just said, but I was able to finish this up and I'm pleased with that because I had this going for quite a while, which is one of the nice things. I, this is kind of a more expensive product. I got it in a kit, so it's not like I purchased it on its own, but I'm happy that I got to go through it and I'm happy it lasted me so long. So this is also done and let's see here. I finished this one on February 1st. So that was nice, nice finale there. Okay, another skincare product, this one I am still working on. This is a face mask. This is from the Milk Makeup brand, and this is their watermelon mask. My goal for this was to use it once a week, which would be about 12 times, and I have used it seven times so far, so I'm on track. Um, I'm also, you know, like seeing it be used up here. I'm going to try to put in a clip if I have it of what it looked like last month. But um, it definitely is getting shorter. I really like the application of this. I just think that putting a mask in a stick form like this is so genius. I just love, you know, rubbing it on my face. I can be really clear with where I want to put it. I've been using this in the weekends and the mornings quite a bit. So like either a Saturday or a Sunday morning when we're just kind of having a lazy morning, maybe like laying in bed and watching a movie or just kind of scrolling through our phones. I'll get up and put this on, which is nice. So I'm on track. Like I said, I used it seven times so far. My goal is 12, but I also would like to finish it up. I just don't know if it'll happen in the first quarter. So we'll see. I also had a moisturizer in this project. This is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. So this is, you know, obviously a sample here. And I liked this quite a bit. It went fast for me. I ended up hitting um, two different air bubbles. The first air bubble I hit right when I started this project. And then I hit another air bubble 
um, as I was going through. So I finished this really early on. I finished this on January 18th, which I think was like pretty quickly after I, you know, uploaded this video. Uh, so this didn't last too long and I've been working on another moisturizer for the evening time since then, but I didn't expect to hit a second bubble, but it's gone and that's fine with me. Last skincare product, and then we'll move into body care, is a product from um, the brand Herbivore. This is the Lapis Oil, which it looks like it's empty. I actually have a decent amount left. I have, you know, this much of my dropper still full, and then I have probably another equal to this amount in the bottom there. So I use maybe six to eight drops a night, so it will take me still probably a few weeks to finish this up. I'm confident I can finish it up before the finale for this project, but it still is gonna take me a while because I just don't use a lot of this, you know? I just, a few drops here and there is all my skin really needs. So this one looks like it's done, but not quite, but I'm confident it will be done by the next update. Okay, body products, shall we? So here's one. This is my big body lotion that I'm working on right now. This is from Alba Botanica, the Very Emollient Body Lotion. I have the Coconut Rescue, so it has a slight coconut scent to it. I love this lotion for the winter time because it's really rich, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy, which I know that's kind of nice sometimes, but it also drives me crazy other times. So I just really like this lotion. Uh, this is, let's see here, 32 ounces in this pump bottle. Now, when I put it in the project, I had used it a few times. So I started at this line up here, and now I am here. So I'm about halfway done. I'm pretty confident I will be able to finish this up. Famous last words, right? <laughs> but I, I don't know. I'm using it every day. Um, I use it when I'm done with showering. I'll use it, you know, like shoulders all the way down, like every part of my body and then on days that I don't shower um because I'm showering like every other day since I'm working from home anyway you didn't like care to know that but um on the days I'm not showering then I do still put this on at night on my arms my legs my feet um just anywhere that feels dry I will still put this on so if I shower in the morning sometimes I'll still put on at night if I feel like I want more moisture but I'm definitely using this at least every day, um, if not multiple times a day. So I do think that this will be done, just not quite there yet. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. I also have a um, body scrub here. So this is from the brand Canna Soapworks, which is an Etsy brand that I discovered um, during quarantine last year, and I really, really love it. So I have the goal to finish up this whole container. I'm about halfway done. So I'd say I'm like right on par. I'm not really sure if this is like helpful for you to look down in here or not. But Mm, Vanilla Bean Noel. I haven't used Bath & Body Works for years, but this smells exactly how I remember it. So that's kind of a fun sensory experience for me. But I use this, um, you know, once or twice a week in the shower. It's very moisturizing. So if I'm showering in the morning or I'm showering and then I know shortly after I need to kind of get out the door, um, this is a good one to use because I don't have to use as much lotion immediately. But anyway, um, also, just my skin's dry, so it's nice to have some more moisture in it. So this, I don't think, will be a problem to have finished up before, you know, the end of this quarter. Um, I think I'm right on track with being about halfway through. So that is going well. And the last two products that I had from my intro are, um, I call them like shower bars, but they are the Lush Naked Shower Gels. And what I do is I cut them into slices. Lush no longer makes them. They have since discontinued them. So I'm just trying to use up what I have. Um, but I slice them into, like, I mean, it would be like a bottle. So I slice it into bars so it's a little bit easier to use in the shower. It's not like such an awkward shape and giant thing that you're using. So this is what I have left of my yellow bar. Um, so it's obviously like very little and thin at this point. This will be done before the end of the month. And I also had a pink one in here that I've already used up that I don't have anything to show you. I used up that pink one on January 28th is what I documented. So this one will be done before the end of the month, which is about right. I go through about one of these slices a month, um, but I only put two into this project. 
So a quick summary for you guys is I started the first quarter with 10 different skincare and body care products. I have since used up five of those at this halfway update, so I'm halfway done and I have five products remaining. But I do feel pretty confident that all of them I should be able to reach my goals with. Um, the only one that I feel just slightly nervous about is this lotion. I would not be surprised if there was just a teeny bit left, but I'm going to try really hard to finish this bad boy up um, since it is the perfect time for me to use this. So I have been doing Project Use It Up videos for years now, so I'm going to leave the playlist down below. I've gone through a whole, you know, journey of overconsumption to where I'm currently at, which is like a maintained consumption amount, I would say. Um, so it's just been really fun to do these over the years, and um, I, I just love them. So if you're doing something like this, please let me know so I can check out your channel and binge watch it and share you on. And that's going to be it for me. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next one.